Okay, boys and girls. So today you're going to be looking at a story called The Bad Luck Cat. And in this story, we have some words that are blends, like the ones that we talked about yesterday. So blends, remember, are two consonant words, two consonant letters that come together and they each make their own sound. But when we put them together, it almost sounds like they make one sound. For example, if I put the word, the letter T-R together, it says tr. If I put the letters S-M together, it says sm. Okay, so we're gonna be going through these. Let's read it together one time. It says, that is a black cat at the pet shop. The black cat is Fred. Fred is two, and he will be a fab pet. All of Fred's buds have kids to hug them, but not Fred. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your highlighter, and you're going to look for words that have that blend. For example, we have bull the black so right here we have a blend bull then we have another blend here black again fur ed fur ed okay all of fred's buds have kids to hug them but not fred so then, let's read the next page. Fred is not bad luck, but kids look at him and do not like him. The kids say he is a bad luck cat. This makes Fred sad. So let's take our highlighter. Do you guys see any blends here? We see Fred. We see uh, again Fred. F R Fred. And that is it for that one. All right, let's move on. Then we have one day a kid did see fred at the shop she said fred looks like a tip-top pet i will get him okay so the only blend i see here is fred again fr fur fred all righty let's move on fred was so glad he did kiss the kid he and the kid will be swell pals. So then we see again Fred and Glad. Okay, and that's it. So when you are done reading this, I want you to go back on your own on Canvas, on your own book on Canvas, and I want you to look and see if you can remember some of those blends that we found together. Black, black, Fred, Fred. And then I want you to read the story to yourself. Read as much of it as you can on your own. Remember, we don't need to know how to read every single word. If we're not sure, we can sound it out because we know our sounds. We know our letter sounds. And we know a couple of rules already so we can use what we know to read as many of these words as we possibly can. If we need help, maybe we can ask mom or dad to help us when they have some free time. But I want you to read the whole story. And then at the end, there are some questions. It says, why, did, why didn't anyone want Fred as a pet? Do you think black cats are bad luck? Why or why not? And what happened to Fred at the end of the story? So at the very end, I want you to pick one of these questions. I don't need you to do all three. You're going to pick one, two, or three. And at the very end of your page, 
you're going to write, let's say I pick the number two. I'm going to write the number two and it says, do you think bad, black cats are bad luck? Why or why not? So I'm going to answer that question right here. I don't think they're bad luck. Okay, I'm not going to have time to finish it myself, but you get the idea. I don't think they're bad luck. So you can write it with your pen or you can type it in with your text box, but you are going to answer one of these questions for me. Okay?